Hi, I'm Josh Campbell with OSU Extension, and today I'd like to talk to you about managing high pressure in your home sprinkler system. You can see behind me here, I've got our sprinkler systems running. High pressure is pretty common in most home sprinkler systems, and it can be identified by hearing high hissing sounds, seeing kind of a fogging and misting of your sprinkler water as it's coming out of the irrigation system. What that does is it makes the, the water droplets coming out of your system so tiny that they actually end up drifting off in the wind and they don't land on target where you want them to land. And so by addressing high pressure in your sprinkler system, you can save a lot of water and a lot of money as you irrigate your landscape. This graphic shows the relationship of pressure to flow rate. So as the pressure of an irrigation system increases, the amount of water that that irrigation head distributes will also increase. This image shows us just how damaging high pressure can be. The first image on the left shows the optimum pressure of 30 PSI and you get coverage where you intend it. As you increase pressure, the second picture on the right shows pressure at 50 PSI. You're using more water in this setting and getting less the end result is a lot of wasted water. So when you decide to replace irrigation heads in your landscape in order to address high pressure, uh, the first thing you want to do is go to the individual irrigation heads. This here, you, you'll see this head here is a Rainbird 1800. So this is just the standard Rainbird uh, brand of this irrigation uh, spray head. There are other brands, Hunter, uh, Toro, many other different irrigation uh, manufacturers that make these products. But uh, in this case, I'm replacing a Rainbird head, which is a very, very common one you find in home landscapes. Um, this is the Rainbird 1800, which is, is the standard fixed irrigation spray head you find in the landscape. I'm gonna be replacing it with this one here, which looks very similar, it still says the Rainbird 1800, but it's it's got this little stamp here on the top that says PRS-30. So it's the Rainbird 1800 irrigation head, but it is pressure regulated to 30 PSI, which is the optimal pressure by replacing this irrigation head here that's a standard irrigation head and is not pressure regulated with one that is pressure regulated, you can instantaneously achieve a huge amount of water savings uh, by reducing pressure. As you reduce pressure, you reduce the amount of water that's coming out and also you, you make for a more efficient application. You're gonna have less water that is blowing in the wind and off onto your, your sidewalks and, and uh, things like that. So it's, it's extremely simple to replace a head. You just go, zone by zone and count how many heads are in the landscape and you'll you'll replace each head so you can actually unscrew the entire body and replace it with a brand new one or you can just take out the inner part itself and then you just grab the inner parts of the new one slide it down in place and you thread it on now this tab here comes usually when you buy a new irrigation head it allows you to pull the stem up and add a nozzle in this case these heads are sold without nozzles and so you'll want to replace the nozzle with the nozzle that you had on the old head or you'll want to buy a new nozzle to put on you can learn more about saving water through managing pressure in your landscape by checking out our fact sheet on the topic